Hey guys, thanks for joining me this week for the third and final episode of the DIY Teardrop Campers Community's fourth annual gathering in Bull Shoals, Arkansas. I hope you enjoyed watching them as much as I enjoyed making them and meeting the members of the group. Be sure to stick around to the end as we're going to announce the winner because we actually hit a thousand subscribers during the last video. So we're going to be giving away that t-shirt and group sticker. So make sure you stick around to the end to find out who won. Without further ado, let's get at it. This is John from New York and uh, we're going to check out his very unique home-built camper and we're going to let him explain it to us. So go ahead and take it, John. Okay, uh, this is uh, um, six and a half wide, nine foot long. Um, our little hobbit house, I guess, is lack of better terms. That's got a pop top, right? So yep. it travels flat and then you pop it up at the at wherever you go, right? Yep, so the little front wall here folds down, the side panels come out and the top comes down, uh, make it a little shorter for traveling. Um, so what's it built on? It's uh, built on a 5x8 uh, tractor supply. Okay, uh, so a carry-on trailer, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, uh, I see you built over the wheels. You have yep, we built over the wheels and we left the side rails in um, for the support. You um, build them into the walls? Yep, they're built in. Uh, Use them for sport for like the bed to slide out on. Which you'll see here in a minute when he go takes us inside. So uh, it's interesting to me, and I'm sure other people are going to ask about the the vinyl siding on the side. Have you had any issues with that? Nope, vinyl siding. We've uh, we're from New York. We've taken it to Tennessee a couple times, uh, Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan, um, Michigan, <laughs> uh, now to Arkansas. Um, and yeah, we haven't had any issues on the uh, vinyl siding. Now you didn't leave room for expansion, though, right? You did. No, you the screws snug. are a little tighter yeah. than what they. But you, would I understand do on why a house. you have to, because the window, the road window, yank it right off. Yeah. So. And then we do when the sun hits on it and stuff. We do get some little ripples well, in I it mean, now and then. That yeah. happens with any camper, really. To be honest, even mine and all the other ones here, they all ripple in the sun. So. Oh, we have a a couch that pulls out to a bed um, that's uh, six foot three long, uh, 52 inches wide when it's out. Uh, we got storage under the bed, storage here for our clothes. Um, we've got refrigerator, microwave, um, storage underneath the refrigerator, keep a lot of our food in there. And then uh, the other side we've got uh, our counter, sink, Put a cutting board on the sink for a little extra counter space. Here's that wardrobe cabinet that he he said he has on this side, which is actually quite ingenious. And all nice of these kind of push in a little bit so that when we're going down the road, we push them in, we put a block in here to keep everything from falling out. There it is. You can see the top wall there. And he said that then you can see the hinges, so that just kind of folds down and rides flat, correct? Yep. Yeah, that just folds down, and we got a block on that side, and the other side rests on top of the cabinets here. And, and you do a little bit of wood burning, I see. Yeah, so I've got some my wood burning. This is a little more personal over here with our birth dates and anniversaries and stuff on that. And then there's some animals on the other side over here. Um, on up behind the couch, there's a deer, bear. And our, enjoy the little things for our little camper here. Well, John, thanks for the tour. I really appreciate it, and thanks for coming to the gathering.
Okay, here's the jewel of, uh, of the gathering here, in my opinion, one of. This is Ed from Alabama. This is his beautiful car with the teardrop that he tows behind it. Now, this was a little bit of a far trip, so this time he didn't drive it, but he drove it last time all the way to Tennessee from Alabama. So this car does actually tow the teardrop, and he does actually use it to tow the teardrop. Hey, I'm Ed. From, I live in Alabama, North Alabama. Uh, this is a, a little car in the teardrop, kind of come about by accident. Uh, I built the teardrop to pull behind the car, the car vents that allowed camping. And now it's kind of branched off into going to these gatherings and everything. I went to the DIY gathering last year in Tennessee, enjoyed it. Back again this year, and I'm going to a lot of them. So. Anyway, this is a this is a car. It's a 1930 Model A Ford. It's a two-door sedan, and it is a original steel body. It's 91 years old. Beautiful, absolutely. And I beautiful. built the car myself. Uh, just about, I know every boat don't it because I've turned it all on. I bet you have. <laughs> I bet you have. It, uh, it has a uh, Chevrolet small block engine in it. Uh, it's a 383 stroker. Uh, has vintage air conditioning, digital dash. This man drives this car. This car is, it's a show car, no doubt. Definitely a show car, but this man drives the car. So it gets used. It's not just a show car. You can kind of tell it, uh, it pulls something. Got yeah, it's got the it. hitch on it. It's got the hitch, and and like I said, he normally he does drive them, drive it to the, the gathering. I was actually shocked that he did. This year, he decided to garage it and bring it. But that's all good. He's here, and that's all that's important. So beautiful job on the car. So now let's get to the matching teardrop. Yeah, this is a little teardrop. One of the biggest features about it is the the fenders I built for it. The little trailer is a it's a four by eight. Uh, it's only good for sleeping one person. The fenders are actually tandem axle trailer fenders that I have cut and modified to look like an old fender. If you want information on that, you can head over to DIY Teardrop Campers Community where he's got a pretty good extensive post on exactly how he did that. So, yeah. But uh, it's kind of modest, you know. I'm, uh, uh, I'm no woodworker. I'll, I'll bend you anything you want out of metal, but I'm, I'm not much <laughs> a, a woodworker. But uh, it's a, it's got air conditioning on it, and I'll Ooh, show that's you nice about and cool that. cool in there too. Yeah, that's nice and cool. You got it working good. Yeah. So yeah. that is not a climate right, by the way. This is uh, what he decided to do was to make a climate right type air conditioner out of a standard window unit. So. Anybody that wants information on that, we're going to give you a little bit. So there's the inside of the camper. It's a beautiful little camper. I have these little canopies and all for kind of keeping us dry or giving rain all week. This is the galley. Uh, I have a stove in a drawer, I guess you call it. A little two burner cooktop that's hooked to a little five pound propane tank on the front. And then uh, Cabinets, storage, all kinds of storage. Just, uh, just kind of modest. Uh oh, nothing wrong with modest, man. <laughs> nothing wrong. It's simple, in my opinion, some of the simplest uh, builds are some of the nicest ones. Yeah. Not all the time, but most of the time, simple is good. If you have problems, it's easier to fix. Isn't That's it? right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. Uh, I couldn't figure out what to do with the stickers. I don't. I've never really been a fan of stickers on the outside and stuff. So I just kind of put them. Up across up the top, top of well, you know, cabinet. everybody's got their own, and there's our friend Camp and Camera. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it this time, but a uh, big shout out to to Michael and Camp and Camera. Uh, wish you were here, buddy, but uh, we understand why you can't. So, yeah, I got two at uh, another event back uh, at Cheha State Park in Alabama this year, and then uh, we got these. Uh, this one this one and this one last year in Tennessee and then uh, that Edgar Evans I went to a park that Michael put the put that oh yeah camping on the porch and, I remember um, and the, if Edgar you guys Evans. are interested in that I'm gonna put a link in the description to camping on the porch on Michael Foster camping cameras uh, channel so you guys can check that out I've so if you little... want information about that too you know join the DIY two drive campers community because Michael is a very active member and he 
he sometimes will do a, a makeshift event and, yeah. and actually gets a real nice good turnout and it's a good way to meet the man and he's a genuinely good man so it's got a little bit uh, oh yeah they so, lied in there and see what i'm doing at night I've got a 12 volt plug here and that's 120 i've got a, a wife coat power converter in it uh that's what I use too, so that's my preferred. Yeah. That's he's good. A, now good. what I like is he's got some, some little bumpers on the back, and he's got the little penny lights. I really like the penny lights for. Yeah, those uh, I put these are are thirty two Ford uh, oh, nice. replicas. They're LED. I put them on when I done the fenders, and I was just afraid there wasn't quite enough visibility on the back. Oh, so the, the, ta the tail lights they replaced is they're smaller. So I added these six little, little small. LEDs. So those are hooked up to your brakes, sir. They're on the tail light. Yeah, which is good. Like you said, they stay you, on as long yep. as the lights are on. Gives you. Okay. And so I added electric brakes to the camper because that car is so. Well, light. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't. I mean, the camper's light too, but you, the last thing you want to do is push anything. Yeah, that car probably it. weighs twenty two hundred pounds. Yeah, and the camper's probably half of that. Yeah. So. It's a window unit. Uh, I think it's like six thousand BTUs. Uh, just a little gold star window unit. I built a plenum on the front that goes where the grill used to be. This hose here is a supply air going into the camper. You can see it's kind of frosted up right uh -huh. now. This one with the fan in it is the return. Okay, is that a, that's a 110 bilge yeah, fan, just right? A little, yeah, just a regular old bilge fan. I got the, you know, now, do you line. really feel that that's necessary? Now, yes. you did have problems. I did. I, when I first put it together, I didn't have that fan in it. And you had to be, everything had to be perfect to keep it from freezing. And the problem with that is, is on these little window units, it's designed to not have any restriction to the right. air coming yep. back. It's sitting there in your room. Just pulling all the, the air it wants to. exposed and right. you get all the air you get. There's nothing restricted. So when you start pulling it through a three-inch hose, well, it makes sense it to cuts, add a bilge, right? It cuts down how much. So, so I you're had, it was probably freezing up on you then. Yeah, I would it? have problems with it freezing, especially if I had to shut it down. Oh now, yeah. It, if it was going, it was fine, but it uh, uh, it hasn't froze at all since I. I well, had and you use this thing a lot, so yeah. it's it's been tested and it's worked. So <laughs> yeah, I, I did it at uh, uh, Edgar Evans. Uh, it was raining there. And I, that thing's got a dry set. And uh, I ran it on dry, even though it wasn't hot enough to need the, the AC. I ran it on dry and it dehumidified. Yeah, hey, take any, you know, it moisture's your enemies. enemy. So yeah. if you can, any any bit of the moisture you can get out of there is a good thing. Well, that's a that's an awesome modification. And uh, <coughs> again, if you want more information, I'm pretty sure he's got a post over on DIY Teardrop Campers community. He's got some storage on the front too. Yeah, I got a little. I've got the a little wheelchair battery in there, and the, just simple storage. This is the vent for the battery. For the battery. Yep. In Smart. case I ever put yep. a lead acid in there, it will, won't corrode things. Right. Now they do sell these. If you guys are wondering, they do sell RV battery boxes that are vented. So it's mm -hmm. you know it's not something you have to make. So yeah, that was a, that came from RV supplier. Right. So if you know if you are going to enclose your battery, it's always a good idea, especially if it's in your cab. This little propane bottle, a little five pound well, propane and, tank. And it that's does, all your yeah. It'll it'll last. All you're running is your trips. stove, right? Yeah. So yeah. perfect. And now that I've got the griddle, I'm not using the little burner or the stove as much as I was. But it lasts several trips. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to no show problem. us around. And uh, thanks for coming to the event. And I'm, I'm sure we'll be camping again together soon. Oh, yeah.
Hey guys, this is Mike from Indiana, and this is a home built that he built himself. I helped him a little bit on it, not much. The basics of it was a Coleman pop-up frame. We built the whole thing from scratch. Took a few different ideas from uh, some other builds and kind of made it our own. So uh, this has a full propane setup front to back. We'll show you the galley with the burner, but we have a propane set up on the side of yeah, it. Yeah, the quick connect, I've seen it. Yep, yeah, quick connect for um, the shower. We have an instant water heater shower that we set there if we need it. Um, battery. Um, this is a Amazon special awning, like 150 bucks or something like that. Works pretty good compared to the other uh, more expensive one. Uh, the inside we have just have a trifold memory foam mattress. Um, it's not quite finished. We haven't done the cabinets yet. Don't need to be finished to camp, right? Yep, correct. Um, I put a TV up there for rainy days or at night or whatever, but it's got the max air fan two LED lights, um, windows on both sides. The window on the driver's side is an emergency exit window. So it's just got the one door then? Yep, just the one door and it's with the screen. And just, uh, this is proof, they don't have to be fun or done to camp. All you got to do is be watertight. So. Yep, and that it is. After yesterday's rain, we know <laughs> for a fact that it is watertight. Yeah, we had, uh, we had quite a bit of rain. So. I did do LED lights. The roof rack is actually for a work van. It has other brackets that you mount the um, to a work van, but I made it work on this, and it came out really good. The um, galley, again, is not quite finished. We work in progress. Got some, probably just doing cabinets on the bottom. I don't know if we're doing much more uh, at the counter or above. But um, this has the propane two-burner stove nice. with the wind guards. Uh, loaded up for your week trip. That's oh cool. yeah, we're definitely loaded. Yeah. Oh, here's you got to explain the air yeah. conditioner because I know somebody yeah. in in the comments Some, is gonna somebody's gonna, gonna want to know. So that I've never seen one of those. So. This is a full HVAC unit for a data cabinet um, for IT stuff. Um, I got it very cheap, to <laughs> say the least. Um, but I took some uh, flanges for RV drain connections and I flanged the bottom of the floor of the camper just on the other side of the head wall and I ran the drain tubes out and did the quick connects on them and, and it hooks I, the same way through the uh, through the bottom right? yep yep same flanged quick disconnects um, I just whipped up a frame the other day just to get this thing running it works really good uh, I felt the, it felt the, pretty cool in yeah there. the it felt camper pretty is, nice. is cold you know you're sitting there throughout the night it's now that has heat and yep. dehumidifier as well, right? Oh yeah. I can actually manage the humidity to whatever percent I want. That's and then nice. then there's heat. On the roof, I know you kind of showed it a little bit, but the other side, I've got a Thule um, double kayak carrier, and on this side, I just got a cheap J-hook one just to add the third kayak for the kid. Um, power inlet, there's that quick disconnect for yeah, the propane. So if anybody was wondering what a propane quick disconnect looks like, there it is right there. Well, I appreciate you taking the yep. time to show me and uh, show all the viewers. And uh, thanks for coming to the group gathering. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, you know we'll be camping together oh, again absolutely. soon. Oh, absolutely. won't be long. I appreciate your time, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I sure hope you enjoyed that. I definitely enjoyed making it. I'm adding an air conditioner to this one, so that ought to be interesting. And I'm going to share that on a channel as well. Uh, it's kind of specific to this, but I suppose it could be adapted. The winner of the t-shirt and free sticker for the group is Lisa Franklin. So Lisa Franklin, I've already contacted you, let you know that you won. Your shirt will be coming very soon. I'd like to thank you all for, for joining me, subscribing, liking, sharing all the, all the wonderful videos that you guys have been sharing and giving me a thumbs up on. I truly appreciate it and I look forward to the next thousand subscribers. So until next week, build on.